Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how to do well in a snowball and reverse movement. This movement is compulsory and is the first movement done in a competition. So here we go, we have a file of boys just coming through the center and when they get to the end where the team marker is, they're going to split off with the first guy going to the left, the second guy going to the right, third guy going to the left and so on and so forth as you can see. Okay. Cool, so now they are in two files and they're now on the very edges of the hole ensuring that they're all going to come back uh, to the center and this time they're going to come into pairs. So uh, if you watch carefully, they're going to be all in sync together, all at the same time turning together. Alignment is crucial in the snowboard movement so you're going to make sure you align with your partner at all times. Okay, and right here now they're going to split off into pairs. So we have our first pair going to the left and our second pair going to the right. Likewise, third pair going to the left and fourth pair going to the right. And as you can see, they're actually these pairs are still outside the boundary, which is what you need to do in the competition. So you don't need to, if you go too far in the boundary, you get penalized. So make sure you're outside the boundary, guys. And here they're coming into pairs of four of our uh, first uh, row of four there and our second row of four there. Uh, when it gets straight to the end of the hole, they're going to split. So, uh, as you can see here, they have split back into their pairs. Also very important when they're in their pairs and they're turning on the corner, that they turn at the same time in a smooth manner with their partner. Kind of like a wheel in Sini's drill marching. Okay, uh, so here, uh, again, you want to make this as smooth as possible. So, the first pair has to come in first, as you can see, because they need to come back into pairs of twos. So, there we go. Um, yep, yeah, coming back like that. There we go, and when they get to the very end of the T marking section, they're going to split off. So as you can see, they've now split off into their files. So now they have two files, a file on the left and a file on the right, ensuring they align with each other on the other side of the hole. So now they're going to march straight down, uh, come back into the center and form into single file, with the first guy on our right coming in first, followed by the guy on the left, uh, and so on and so forth, making like a domino effect, like a nice smooth transition. Again, what they're going to do here, they're going to march down straight to the end of the hole and that's pretty much it for the snowball and reverse movement. In summary, to do well in the snowball and reverse movement, you need to know which direction to turn when you split and when you come back to the center. You also need to align yourself with your partner when in pairs or when your other partner is across the other side of the hole. You also need to have a smooth turn when you're in pairs when turning on the corner. When you come back to the center, when you're either forming single file or in pairs or in fours, you need to come back in on time and make it look like a smooth transition. If you cannot make it back on time to the center and you're waiting for your partner to form your pairs, just march time on the spot until your partner catches up with you, then you can both move off. Lastly, make sure you march on the boundary. Don't go too far into the hole or too far out of the hole because you will lose points for that. So march on the boundary. And that's an overall summary on how to do well in a snowball and reverse movement.